I'm with uh, Richard Edwards uh, from Manton, and we're at uh, your Square Mile event, where earlier Richard was telling us all about a fantastic participatory budgeting work that's got a lot of people engaged in uh, Manton. And we then went on to start talking about the fact that communities around the country have got their own great ideas, um, and they could be shared, but somehow they, they don't. Um, so how do you move beyond just passing each other a leaflet and going on your own way? Yeah, yeah I, I think everyone talks a lot about exchanging ideas and practice and whatever, and I think giving a leaflet to one another is probably not good enough. Wouldn't it be great if we had some sort of an exchange system where a resident from Carlisle could go and learn and spend some time in an area of Cardiff or Swansea or wherever it might be? So there'd be an interchange of experiences and, and knowledge. So you start to build up people's uh, learning and also build up their enthusiasm, charge them up so when they go home, they're really up for Big Society or your square mile. I think that'd be a great... I know we would learn a lot from other people, but we need to have a, almost like a more structured way of doing it. Do you think this is something that the lottery in its people power tank program might take a look at? We start kicking around the idea of a workshop to uh, discuss it. Yeah. 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 I, I think if the people on the ground aren't enthused and haven't got uh, and, and have got some, some knowledge and experience. That's going to really boost uh, big society and your square mile. It's going to enable it to really take hold in the country, not just in some of the areas where it's very already quite a hot topic, but elsewhere as well. So I think that you need to see things happening, don't you? Most of us learn through experiences, not through books, not through leaflets. If you see something for yourself, you could say, I want a bit of that, or my community could do with a bit of that. And I think this exchange, this sort of like internal work experience, or whatever you want Want to call it, might be a really good way of making sure good experiences, bad experiences, and practice is exchanged in a much better way. We were talking earlier about how participatory budgeting has helped you kind of look at the human potential in the area and map the human assets there. Maybe we need to do that on a national scale yeah. and look at what are the assets in different communities and how they can share. I think that's really important. Uh, what we've done, we call it Communities Are Us, is that we have this opportunity to map human assets. So what does it tell us? It tells us what people's interests are and the level of skill they've got interest, that interested in. We've got, we know how many people are volunteering, what sort of volunteering they're doing, how many hours they're spending a week, loads of interesting stuff. And we can utilize that. Practical example, if you want to set up allotments, I know in there there's 432 local people who are interested in gardening, of which 20% are highly skilled. We should be talking to them about how to go about setting up a lottery. The, the skills and experiences are there. We need to unlock that potential. And Communities Are Us, which we've done in Manton, does that.